officer of the Nassau County Police Department Public Information Office. This media briefing is being held to discuss instances where a vehicle was struck by a train earlier tonight. Present is County Executive Laura Curran, the President of the MTA, Philip Eng, Director of Emergency Manage Management for the State of New York, Mike Kopey, Managing Director of the MTA, Ronnie Hawkins, Commissioner of Police of Nassau County, Patrick Ryder, MTA Chief of Operations, Owen Monahan, representing Legislative District Number 2, Legislative Celia Bino, Mayor of Westbury, Peter Cavallaro, and Legislator Laura Schaefer. At this time, I'd like to introduce MTA President Philip Eng. Sir. Good evening, everyone. Um, uh, I'll just give a little summary of uh, this unfortunate, tragic incident that occurred tonight. Um, what we understand is that uh, witnesses have identified that a vehicle um, traveling on School Street um, went around the gates um, as the uh, west, as the eastbound train was traveling eastbound. Um, we have confirmed that the gates were functioning. Um, there were three fatalities, uh, all from the vehicle. Um, we had seven passengers that were taken to hospitals, area hospitals, just for precautionary uh, measures. Uh, our engineer and our conductor were also taken to a hospital for injuries, um, and and we're working right now to uh, finish the accident investigation, um, and then to start working on rerailing the trains, um, and then try to restore service. Can you tell us where the train originated? Bill was it eastbound train. From yeah, well, we had, the, it was an eastbound train that was actually in the Westbury station. Uh, my understanding is, is that the, uh, the gates were down, the lights were flashing, we've confirmed that they were functioning. Uh, witnesses have said that the vehicle went around the gates, at which point the train that was leaving, heading eastbound, and the vehicle uh, collided. Um, at that point, my understanding is then a westbound train traveling uh, uh, towards Westbury station then it impacted with the vehicle. The vehicle was pushed westbound, um, and that's when the front two cars of the westbound train uh, came off the rails. The platform was damaged, um, and, and that's where the situation lies right now. We've done some initial assessment of the damage to the third rail, to the tracks, on the platform. Uh, we have a uh, Long Island Railroad uh, men and crew on scene. Um, and the third, um, and the contractors are here as well to assist with us. Um, and again, as we, we assist to uh, waiting for the accident investigation to be completed, uh, we'll love to start restoring service. We are currently um, setting up a shuttle between Hicksville and Babylon. So anybody who needs to take the train uh, from Port Jefferson, Ron Conkma, Huntington, can take a train to Hicksville. We will shuttle them to Babylon, then along the South Shore they can travel westbound. Uh, that will be in place through the evening uh, and into the morning. With regards to service in the morning, uh, we're still assessing that, um, and we expect that morning service will be impacted, and, and we ask that folks uh, check the uh, Long Island Railroad website and the MTA website for updates. You can say whether the main line will be down? Um, we know that there's damage to the, the rails. We know there's damage to the third rail. Um, uh, until we can remove the trains and get further in there, we don't know uh, how long it will take to repair. Um, so we, we, we know that morning service, we expect it will be impacted. You said an engineer was taken to the hospital as well as... A conductor. A conductor. Yes. Um, and how many of the cars actually do you rail? Uh, it was the front two of the westbound, so the, the westernmost uh, two cars. How fast were the two trains going? The, the uh, eastbound train was just leaving Westbury Station, so that was not going that fast, but the westbound train was moving as it was going through. I don't have the speed, uh, but that was at a higher rate of speed. How what kind many of passengers was it? impacted? What kind of vehicle was it? Um, the, the vehicle is undetermined at this point. The, um, it's... We're, we're unable to determine the vehicle due to the damage right now. The train behind me immediately is the westbound train. How many passengers on board each train? Uh, the 
The eastbound train had approximately 100 passengers. Westbound train was carrying in about 800 passengers. The approximately 800. No, we don't know information about the deceased. What is your message to people in their cars who attempt to go around the gates if that's in fact what happened? We, you know, we work very hard with regards to grade crossing safety. Uh, we work closely with local law enforcement, with MTAPD, um, to really um, not only um, educate the public on, on the dangers of this, um, but really, you not only take your own life into your hands, but you're taking the lives of others into your hands. Our engineers, our conductors, our customers, and, and anyone else uh, along the local road. It's, it's, um, it's unfortunate, uh, and we're, we're going to remain vigilant with regards to the importance of, of folks not trying to um, cross the grade crossing when the gates are down, whether you're driving or you're walking. Um, it is um, it's catastrophic, as we see today. Given the extent of the damage to the expectation that uh, service will be affected here at Westbury for uh, for future? Um, we're still assessing that, um, Alfonso, but um, you know we have um, all the men and women from along our railroad. Um, our labor force uh, leaders, uh, Anthony Simon, is here to support us and and ensure that uh, we have all the resources to uh, quickly work to restore service along the main line. Uh, as I said, we, uh, or maybe I didn't say, but approximately 200 feet of rail needs to be replaced. We know the third rail has some damage. The platform, which is damaged, we will be able to cordon off um, the eastern sections of the platform, and we'll still have room for 10 cars to be able to platform along the uh, Westbury station. Uh, so uh, while I don't know the situation for the morning, um, you know, we're going to work through the night and we're going to work to restore service as soon as possible. So the three in the vehicle all alone? We don't know that. And the injuries of the passengers as well as uh, your employees, how serious are they? I understand the injuries of the passengers are minor. It's really precautionary. Um, I know the engineer uh, was very shaken up, um, but I understand he was able to walk to the ambulance. Uh, but, um, but, you know, obviously uh, we all are, are hoping for the best for him and the conductor is um, shaken up, but, but um, uh, in much better shape than the engine. Is, is there damage to both tracks, both tracks, the eastbound and westbound tracks, both damaged or just one? The more severe damage is to the northernmost track, which is where we have the westbound train currently. Um, we, we did not see as much damage on the eastbound tracks, but until the accident scene is fully cleared, we, we, we don't know if there's any additional uh, work that needs to be done on that set. Uh, if I can, I'd, I'd like to introduce uh, County Executive Laura Curran to, to the mic. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank very you. much. Uh, first, I want to say that our hearts go out to the three victims of this horrible crash. Uh, the county, we first got word of this, we first got the call at 7.20 tonight. Uh, we arrived on the scene with the Office of Emergency Management, the police and the police commissioner has been here throughout. Um, Firecom has been coordinating all the fire districts, all the fire departments to come and, you know, we've seen um, fire departments from as far away as Farmingdale helping out. We're very grateful for the help as well. Um, and, you know, we just want to caution everyone who lives around Westbury, stay clear of the area for now. Let our first responders, let the work happen. Um, and, you know, to your question before, this is, uh, you know, a very tragic, cautionary tale that you just don't try to beat the train. It's not, it's not going to work. Uh, the county is pitching in in every way we can. We're coordinating with nice bus. We had been coordinating earlier to make sure people could get where they need to go. And, uh, you know, we're on the scene. We're providing any help we possibly can on the county level. Uh, we're joined by the two legislators who represent this area, Laura Schaefer and Celia Bino, and by the mayor, Mayor Cavallera, who are also providing all the help they can. So uh, thank you very much. This time I'd like to introduce Nassau County Commissioner of Police, Patrick Ryder, who will field more questions. Sir. Do we have any questions? <laughs> No, so the, it's very fluid right now. Uh, the victims cannot be identified at this time. We'll go through the process, working with homicide and the investigators from the Long Island Railroad. Is, is your information that the gates were fully down with the 
car went around? Or Information from the witness that was gates were down and they went around the gates. The car, there was a fire that did occur. Uh, we're not sure how it happened, but that was why we had to evacuate this, the first train that was going uh, westbound into New York City. I, I heard some information about uh, a passenger maybe uh, uh, between train cars, hidden between train cars. Is there anything to that? Uh, our victims in the vehicle are the three victims that were in the area between the two trains when it came on to a stop. The fire was from the vehicle itself. Uh, the fire department put the, the fire out, and um, everybody was evacuated from the eastbound train and the westbound train, uh, excuse me, from the westbound train, and the eastbound train was main, remained in place at that time. Too early to tell. Our information was three people that were in the car, and they're the three victims that we have on the tracks. There were minor injuries and some a little bit more serious than others. They were removed to local area hospitals. Okay? At this time, there's, there's seven that have injuries. Minor. Minor. But, but, and a conductor and an engineer. I'm going to leave it as seven. I don't know exactly the titles of the people involved. Do, do okay, the seven include the crew members? Excuse me? Do the seven injuries include the uh, I'm going to say it one more time. Very fluid, seven. That's the number we're staying with. We don't know what the titles are of the individuals. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for attending.